My name's Kat, I'm a lecturer at Staffordshire Business School. My name's Helen Ashwood, I'm the course lead for adult nursing here at Staffs. Hi, my name is Louise, I'm the catering and operations manager at Staffordshire University. Hi, my name is Jane Pearce and I'm a student and employability advisor. My name's Paula DL and I'm Head of Student Support and Wellbeing. Hello, I'm Karen Rodham. I'm a Professor of Health Psychology at Staffordshire University. Hello everyone, my name's Liz Both and I'm Professor of Health and Wellbeing at Staffordshire University. Hi everyone, my name's Rebecca Boswell. I work for the Project Delivery Team in RISE here at the University. One of the reasons I've decided to volunteer is to really feel a part of my community. The kind of person that I am, as in really socially active, I worried that being at home would be difficult for me. I volunteered to help the most vulnerable in our village. I'm helping my community. Um, I'm, I'm making people happy. I'm making them feel safe, that they've got someone they can rely on uh, during these times. Volunteering is for fun, it's for experience, and most of all, it's for giving back to our community. It's about doing things for your community and your neighbourhood that can help make a difference. In order to help and support my family, friends, colleagues, students, people in my local community. One of the things that motivates me to do this most is, you know, I work in the project delivery team, I work on an innovation project for SMEs. I like to feel like I've made a difference. It doesn't have to be a huge gesture, but that interaction with those close by around you could be really good for your well-being. I volunteered through the university to go into UHNM as a nurse if needed. My background's A&E, so I thought if I'd got anything to give, I could give it back. And also volunteered if 111 needed anybody. If you are able to help just one person out and be kind, do so. Because at the time like this, this really can make somebody really happy. I volunteer in my local community, I live in a little village, particularly the old people. Sometimes they might need a prescription, they might need some groceries, or they might just have something that they need. Currently, I'm running a, a running group, social running group, the Trent Trotters. Anybody wants to join? Join up with Stash University. Um, we do couch potato to 5k, and we are all enjoying ourselves. Mainly me, I think. I've registered with the uh, Rooms for NHS initiative and the other thing I've been doing is I've signed up with the Health Psychology Exchange. During COVID-19 I've been using my skills as an EFT practitioner which is sometimes called tapping. I was speaking to somebody from my son's class at school, one of the parents, and her and her husband had both been made redundant. They were struggling and didn't know what to do to feed their children so I bought her some shopping and had it sent round to her house and there's a lot of other parents in the same class that were in the same boat. So between us um, we've got a thing going where we're able to help and support them all and make sure the children are fed and that they're fed and they're not worrying about that one bill every week. Something that is really positive for our well-being is having a sense of purpose. And if you've considered maybe doing some voluntary work or you've perhaps reached out to, to a friend or a neighbour and you've offered to do something for them, during this time where some of you might be busy and others might be um, a lot quieter than usual, volunteering to help someone might give you that really positive sense of purpose. It's helped me a lot to feel that I've been able to do something during this challenging time. What helps me is not only my son, but when I've been out and delivered some shopping for someone or maybe picked up a prescription. The contact you make with that person and hearing their, their voice, how grateful they are that they don't have to go out and put themselves at risk gives you an overwhelming sense of pride. This has made me feel really empowered. Just giving up a bit of your time to help other, other people goes a long way. It makes me appreciate what I've got. Go out, do some volunteering. Open your mind up to what else is available in the world. Open your ideas about what is possible in your life. Is it going to be the transforming thing of your entire world? Who knows? But you know what? Don't try, you don't know. Finding something that you can do to feel like you're doing something to help um, 
can be a really useful thing to do. So for me, kindness has lots of benefits, not just uh, to the person that I'm being kind towards, but also um, it has benefits for my well-being as well. And there's lots of research that supports that. For example, kindness can help to reduce pain and just reduce anxiety and depression. It can also help to boost your energy levels and it can even slow down the aging process. So really, what's not to like about being kind? You know, for my own mental health as well, stuck in these lockdown times, I think if I'm still managing to reach out to people and help them, especially people that I know and um, our children, you know, I feel like I'm doing a good job. The most important thing is to look after you. And this week is not just about being kind to those around us, but it's about being kind to you too. And that's my message to you today. <laughs>